Brian here with Guitars, Whiskey, and Golf. I hope you'll think about subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. So a couple of days ago, I uploaded a YouTube short on the intro to Gravity. So I thought I would do a full song tutorial, give you the chord structure to the song, give you some ideas and tips on how to play it and approach it. Um, so you can, you know, play the full song at home and, and have fun with it. It's a great track. So first of all, the song is in the key of G. Um, and it's in 6-8 time. So what does 6-8 time mean? That means it's counted and felt like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1. So it's got that kind of slow blues feel called 6-8 time. So the song begins very subtly with the band really um, almost just implying a G. To C. It's very subtle. It's just setting the mood and setting up um, the intro where John Mayer does... Right? So what is he doing there? Well, first of all, he's on the third string sliding to the ninth fret. That's the major third of C. And then he went, when he goes to this part, that big bend, he's bending up to this note, the B, the major third of G. So in that whole intro, John Mayer is targeting the major third of both G and C. And that's why it sounds so good over those two chords. It sounds super sweet because he's targeting those key chord tones, which is really great. So uh, he plays that and then um, Slides down to G. Gravity. That throws in a little G sus4 just as a little fill, kind of Hendrixy kind of thing. Right? To the C. Now you could play a C like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's a little bit, it's just tastier when you do something like this. That sounds really good. So what, what is he doing there? Well, on the fifth string, fifth fret, sliding up to seven. Guess what that is? That's the major third again of C. And then he bars the second, third, and fourth string at the fifth fret, which is a C triad. So that's just another inversion of C. Like that. Then you can throw in a little slide lick like back to G. Then it goes to A minor seven. Arpeggiate through it, maybe give it a little strum. Then it goes to this B flat major seven, or technically, I think on the chord chart it shows G minor over B flat, which is actually played like this. Show you that chord a little bit more, uh, a little closer up for, if you want to try to go for that chord. But you can also just play a B flat major seven. Now why would a B flat major seven work as a substitution for G minor? Well, B flat is the relative major of G minor. So that means they share the same notes. They're just ordered in a different way. It's almost like an inversion. So that totally works. 
personally, I like it because then the next chord is E flat major seven played like this. And it's just easy to go from to that. And you can then, once you go to the E flat major seven, if you wanted to throw in a little melody, little melody line like that you don't have to play that but again off of the um, the E flat major 7 you can um, or come up with your own little melody line there or don't play anything at all there except the chords so that's where I'm saying it's it's your choice you can play around with the song, work on it. Um, the way you play it now may be different than the way you play it six months from now because six months from now you may know the song a lot better um, and you've played around with it a lot more and you're throwing riffs in here and there and just putting your own spin on it. So that's that's the beauty of learning and, and playing guitar. So that's basically the whole chord structure of the song. So I'm going to kind of show you a condensed version of it. Um, and uh, get you, and hopefully that's enough to get you going on it. So here we go. So intro, just you know, softly. <laughs> That's just some ideas on how to approach the song. I hope it uh, gives you some inspiration to pull that song out and start playing along to it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Guitars, Whiskey, and Golf for more uh, in-depth guitar tutorials like this, uh, riff ideas. By the way, it's Guitars, Whiskey, and Golf because I do guitar stuff, but I also do whiskey reviews, cocktail lessons, and I'm super into golf. It's one of my huge passions. So occasionally I'll even upload uh, tips on how to improve your golf game. So I hope you'll think about subscribing to the channel. Take care, everyone. Bye.